YouTube, what's up? It's your boy, Freestyle Steve, coming back with it again. What's good, man? You know me, I'm just chilling. Thought I'd come with another look for you guys. You know, I'm not going to call these tutorials because I'm definitely, you know, not probably qualified enough to be um, giving tutorials on all these um, apps. But this is more just a... Um, you know, these are just looks, and maybe just to bring awareness to the app as well. Um, as with, um, you know, the Shield, some of these apps, um, you won't find them looking in the Google Play Store on the Shield. You know, so you'll, um, yeah, you won't find some of these looking in the, you might actually, let me, let me scratch that. You might, maybe if you search for the apps, you know, but, um, if not, you can always just browse the, you know, the Google Play Store externally. Um, the, I, I believe the one on our, our smartphones and our tablets. And if you have a, a laptop or a desktop computer, you can brew, br I'm sorry, you can browse the Google Play Store externally, and you can find various apps that, you know, you can, I guess to say, install externally to your Shield, you know. So you, you can find various apps that you might not see listed in the Google Play Store on your Shield device. Or that probably even go, well, for a, any Android TV device, you know. And if, if you're just browsing um, the Google Play Store on your phone or your tablet or, you know, your laptop or desktop. And, and you see an app that, you know, looks interesting. You, you could be like, wow, that looks cool. And um, on, on the, the website, Google Play Store will, will usually have you know, a compatibility list. It, it, it's a little list under, you know, when you're on the description page of the app. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, if you check the uh, compatibility list, it, it'll mention, you know, what the app is compatible with. It, it'll, it'll list whether it's compatible with all your devices or with a, um, you know, specific few that you're using. So, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> So uh, usually, if, if it's um, compatible with, you know, the device that you're trying to install it on, it'll say this, you know, app is compatible with, and then, and then you can click in a drop-down menu if you have more than one device, you know, that you've used um, to install a, a Play apps on, it, it'll have the device there, and you can choose which um, device you want to install it on. But now the thing with installing the apps this way is, is they're hit or miss. Not every one of them is, um, you know, going to work. I, I don't know how they verify that they're, um, you know, that they're, I guess you could say, Android TV um, ready or whatnot. See, this Perfect Piano worked great with, with just the Shield controller. But it, it was verified, you know, it says Perfect Piano for TV. So it, it is specifically the... Uh, Android TV version, so you know that's why it works pretty smooth. As with a lot, a lot of the other apps that you'll, um, you know, a lot of the other apps that you'll find on the uh, externally on the Play Store, they may not necessarily, you know, be Android TV versions. And you know, myself, I don't know how they, um, how they go ahead and verify that over Google that you know they're able to be pushed over here to Android TV or if it's maybe just something in, in the system that says, you know, okay, this app, you know, it is good to go. It's, it's also Android TV. I mean, now, of course, obviously, you know, perfect piano for TV, you know, that they, they've made this to kind of work with TV, you know, in which it does. It seems to work good. So, but as you know, some of these other ones, like this chords teacher, this was one that was um, pushed from a Google Play externally, you know, so I, I don't know how it's going to work. You know, we can open it and the controller might not work at all, which it seems like with some of these apps, <clears throat> that that seems to be the thing, you know. So if, if, if you're trying to, um, you know, run apps externally or install apps externally to your Shield, you know, not necessarily games, apps, some of them apps might not work right out the box with your Shield controller or your remote. So you might want want to have you know an external mouse, and, and you know it's it's up to you your own preference whether you want a wired kind of mouse, a um, wireless USB 
dongle based kind of mouse, a Bluetooth kind of mouse. And I'm thinking a mouse because I don't know if you know if you could just hook up a um, keyboard and go through like that, or if, or if you have you know a little keyboard like me, my Logitech K400 Plus, which has a mini trackpad on it, which which you know it comes comes in handy because it brings up the cursor, you know, when I when I move the, if you could see when I move my hand on the trackpad, so that's kind of nice, you know, if you need it for navigating some of these externally um, installed apps. Okay, so today we are going to try one that I thought was, um, that I thought looked pretty cool, you know, and it is called, let's see if I could find it by typing it, <clears throat> now, it might not be here, so I might have to actually, uh, Okay, no. And I'm looking in the wrong place. I think I have to go look under the the one that says uh, Google Play Games, maybe. Okay. Or maybe right here. Let's see. I'd like to buy, you know, I like having the two USB ports. Um, generally, I use one for an external hard drive, you know, with content, my music, videos, all that, and that's about it. It's nice to have the other one open, although, you know, I, I can use it. When I do videos on, on the Shield, you know, I don't got the internal storage, so I don't record videos internally. I record them to my external storage, so, you know, usually one USB port on the shield is um is taken up by my um external storage and then if I'm doing you know a video with the camera then they're both taken up. But they they still come in handy. Definitely cool to have, you know, some of that. Okay, so let's keep scrolling. I think I seen it here. Okay, that one didn't work. I tried some of those and I'll have to check that one later. Okay, there's a couple, see? Right here, Piano Companion. So this looks kind of cool. Chord Scales Progressions. Piano Chord Scale Companion. And, okay, you know, click it. and Find chord or music scale with couple touches. It's Chord Progression Builder. So, you know, you could read about it. There's a flexible piano chords and scale dictionary with user libraries and reverse mode with a flexible chord progression builder. That's kind of cool. Look, fifteen hundred piano chords, ten thousand scales, MIDI output, the ability to connect your favorite. Wow, it's pretty cool. So there's definitely a lot here to um, you know get you going. I don't know if you want to call this a music fairy. Yeah, probably. These, um, you know, this is kind of a getting you into piano tutorial, piano learning, piano um, instruction, maybe piano theory. I don't know if you want to say music theory, but, you know, you could definitely learn from this. It might be a little uh, complicated for those, you know, maybe I would probably say maybe some basic music theory to know, you know, what all the, this stuff, not all of it, but what, you know, the basic stuff means before you, get, you know, major, minor, diminish, augmented, that might sound a little, uh, you know, to people that don't know, it might sound a little, um, a little overwhelming. Sevenths, pentatonic, chromatic, so it would probably be good to, to maybe brush up on a few basics, but for those that are pretty versed in, in their basic theory and want to take their, uh, their playing, I don't, you know, if you want to take it to the next or just have a reference for chords and scales that you can practice with until you learn them in your head there you go you know looks like there's a uh, tons of features and options kind of cool 
Looks like there is in-app purchases. Um, I don't know what those are. We haven't uh, got into it yet. You know, 15 megabytes, not really a huge app. So let's go ahead and try it. Now, see, the only thing I found weird is I can't open it from here. Some of these are kind of weird. Okay, it doesn't even have an... It was pushed over to this shield, installed externally, but it, uh... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. But it, but it, uh, it don't have an open. Like, look, there's no way to open it. And if you go to any of the other ones, they all have open. So what I noticed you have to do is all, um... It might be in here. If it's not in there, I have to open it on my settings menu, which was a... Which was what I used to open it. Could be right here too, so let's see. Although this might just be games. Okay, it's going to take a minute. And even games from like my other uh, devices, just, you know, all your uh, your Google Play games and whatever. Okay, so instead of looking, I don't want to look for it over there. We'll just, you know, get straight to it. So some of these apps, guys, so now that you've seen um, some of these apps that you could push to your um, shield, you might not be able to find them through, I guess you could say, a uh, normal means, you know. As this piano companion, as we're looking, it is not on our app screen there. Um, it might have been able to track it through the Google Play Store. Put what I, you know, maybe even sideload launcher. Let's see, you know, sideload launcher is good for, I guess, that kind of stuff, right? Well, sideload launcher has it, so we if 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 you um install some of these apps externally and you don't see them on your shield home screen or you know in in your your play store where you can look through your games or um even the the what is it the, the google is it the games app i want to say let's see we'll back out of here it's, yeah your google play games app um you can always go to sideload launcher or a trusty old buddy sideload launcher And it looks like Sideload Launcher has it. So there we are. This is what we're getting into today. Piano Companion. So let's go ahead and check her out. So I will press A button to launch her. And this is the screen we are presented with. And okay, wow. So here we go. Now this game is okay. So this is kind of cool, guys. So for this one, if you have an external, um, you know, if you have an external mouse, any type of external mouse, you are, you know, more than welcome to use it. If you have an external keyboard of, of such, um, you know, I, that might work too. But with this game, it actually looks like we are getting a controller, some kind of controller response. Okay, I'm moving the right analog stick, and the right analog stick seems to be our cursor. Which, you know, I, I assume that has, you know, a lot to do in this game. Or this app, sorry. Okay, so now I'm moving the uh, I'm moving the left analog stick, and it seems like I'm getting. If if you could see, I'll move the cursor up to the right. I can't see it because my uh, recording label that pops up when the shield records is in the way. But if you see where the cursor is going, there's something highlighted here. I'm sure you guys can see that. I don't know what that is. I'm, okay, it says help. I I think I could see um under the, the I could see an L and a P so I imagine that might be a help menu okay so um that that's what the left analog sticks do and so if I move it watch it, it gets outside of the help menu if I move it again it looks like it'll you know it, it'll it gets up there so but other than that it's it's not choosing any of these um options on what looks to be I guess you could say our um our home menu for this uh home screen for the P piano companion app but fortunately, we do got cursor connectivity. And this is from the, uh, I'm using the NVIDIA Shield uh, controller. So, you know, like I'm saying, with this app, you might not even need to hook up anything externally. So I'm hoping that we can just, 
move the cursor to whichever section here on the um, home menu and I'm, I'm assuming I press A well, like when I have the cursor over it you know to select it and it should open so let's go to the about section real quick okay I got the cursor over it, and I'm gonna press A ah and it did look piano companion there's the email to email the developer and it, it's a nice URL type of link so if you um put your cursor over it you can you know click it and probably kind of email them through a through there there's another probably hot link there that will take you to their uh, website so that's cool okay so yeah it works exactly how I said move the cursor over the um, section you want to move it over and press the A button and it'll work so you know you can I don't know if you could take screenshots or, or do what with it on Facebook that's kind of cool here's where you share um, share I don't know share your examples share share some stuff Okay, so the shop. I'm kind of curious what the shop is. Should we see what we got um, going on here in the shop? So I, I clicked over it. Okay, so in okay, all in one. Well, of course, it's probably if you want to unlock the whole thing. Enables all available pro features, no ads. Three ninety nine. Progressions Pro. Progressions Pro features. MIDI stuff. Hmm. One forty nine. Chords Pro enables all Chords Pro 149 Scales Pro. One day free trial. That's cool. It's not bad though. 3.99. You know, I guess if you're, but it, it seemed to have quite a bit with the uh, the free stuff there. So that's a shop. So let's see if I press B, if B will back out of the menu, and it did, but it, it unfortunately brought us up to a ad. So I'll press B again. Okay, cool. So that was the shop. The shop basically has certain um, certain modes you can unlock. You can unlock the whole, you know, whole shebang for three ninety nine, or you can unlock certain parts like the chord part and um, like a MIDI, mid, more MIDI features, you know, and other things like that. So watch. We'll look at it again. So all in one, which is probably everything. Progressions Pro, Progressions Pro features MIDI export patterns, transit. Transposition, Save Load, Chords Pro enables all Chords Pro features, inversions, chord scales, favorites, scales Pro. So, you know, basically you can unlock the sections to it. And if you want everything, it's three ninety nine. So that's cool. You might not, you know, use the MIDI parts, but you might just need to study it for reference so you can get what you need. Maybe you're just wanting to work on your chords or your scales. Definitely cool. So you you can. You know, bring the cursor up to the top left. If you see the uh, arrow there, we can click that to go back, or we can click B. So it seems like you can back out either way. So that was a shop. That's cool. We checked out about and shop. Let's go ahead and see what um settings offers us. So if we click settings, okay, and did these sections sometimes? Okay. The, oh, okay. Fortunately, this one has a cursor. When you scroll up and down with the uh, controller, so that's cool. So we should be able to, um, you know, select or confirm any one of these options with the A. So let me press A right here. Key notation allows to switch key notation to Italian, German, Japanese. Okay, I press something, but now, oh, it froze on me once I did that. Shoot. Okay. Well, let's try it again, guys. We can't be having that, you know, that kind of stuff going. And we can go to Silo Launcher again. Okay, so remember that. That was the uh, settings. And when I, I tried to choose the switch the key notation to, like, a different language, it froze. So we our, our crash froze. I don't know. So, so we got one little, you know, problem so far. But it, it ain't bad. It looks pretty featured for what it is you know let's try the settings again now I'm wondering if I use the cursor and choose it but I don't want to choose that one again I don't want to freeze it show only pot let's see if this works the, the check uh, you know so if I go there and... okay yeah it does so if you go to any of your selections that you need to um, you know check and uncheck you can just press the a button check you know Let's uncheck it. Okay, cool. There's your tempo selection right there. I don't know what that means. Show ninth chords. Show thirteenth chords. Reverse chord lookup. 
<clears throat> hidden keyboard. Keyboard is hidden for chord scale lookup screen to preserve face to preserve space. Okay. Stay awake. Screen will never sleep. Will look up screen is open. Compact mode. Simplifies main menu. Hides irrelevant options. Instrument. Okay, so let's see. Some. Oh, nice. So that that must be like you know how we um seen in our last uh, look at Perfect Piano, where it had it called them plugins. I guess you could say like tone generators, plugins, instrument sounds. This must be kind of it um this app's equivalent so if, if you're um you know want to mess with whatever some chords or scales but you know it you're you play a different instrument you might not want them in a piano tone maybe you you want them in the steel guitar um sound or the cello sound or you know synth strings or so there's synth voice so there's quite a few there that's pretty cool okay so i backed out of it with the b button don't play chords, don't play scale, show device, slow device support, export default email. So there's there's quite a few options here. If you want to um, suit these to your, um, I guess you could say to your, uh, you know, to your needs, to what you, um, what you're working with, you know, you might not need to show all those chords or you might want that hidden keyboard showing up on your screen. So there's definitely um, customization options there to get you uh, set up right. So that's cool. That seems to be the settings section. So I will press the B button to back out and exit. I, I assume you can press the uh, back arrow. Let's try the back arrow, of course. Okay, so I pressed the back arrow and it did back me out. So far we have went over the about section, shop, and settings. So we, we got quite a few here. So I'm curious what these uh, Share and Facebook are. So let me just click. Well, I'm wondering if it's going to bring me up externally. It probably will. Let me just see. I'm going to click Facebook. Yep, of course. Uh, oh, it brings you up to their uh, their Facebook site. Okay, cool, cool. So if you press P to back out, it looks like, uh, looks like we could back out of all that. So Facebook brings you to their Facebook. I imagine Twitter does the same. Let's see what the uh, let's see what the share option does. So I'll click share. Oh, okay. And it, you know it has your um, options to share. It say yes. File explorer save yes sender plex. All right. So that's cool. <laughs> okay. So we are now on. I'm going pretty much, I guess you could say, from uh, right to left in, um, in, in, I guess, order. So um, we started from here. We went through there. We went through the shop settings. And now we are on the quiz. So let's look up and see what quiz offers. So I'm, I'm wondering if maybe this quiz part comes in later. Maybe you have to do some of these. Maybe there's exercises, you know, or, or you have to go to the chords dictionary or something i'm not sure what the quiz is, is gonna all you know entail to but maybe they have um maybe they have the uh maybe they have quizzes ready to go so let's go ahead and click it and find out okay so i clicked oh oh wow this is a whole nother app okay chord iq chord staff quiz full description okay this one might not um maybe you can install it from the uh, externally from the Google Play Store, because just like this piano companion app, when we seen it in our uh, our Google, what was it, our Google Games app, our Google Play game app, our Google Play Store app, when we were looking at it, it didn't have an open button. Remember, it just had an uninstall, full description. So maybe this app is one. You know, I, it might be since it's it's linked to from a uh, from this perfect uh, our piano companion app. Maybe this Chord IQ is one that can externally be installed on the Shield, and you know maybe you can run it like we're running this. You know, with with an well, I, I assumed I had to use the uh, you know my Logitech K400 Plus keyboard, external wireless USB keyboard, or some kind of mouse, and I'm I'm able to uh, you know run this perfect companion with the controller. So that's kind of cool. So maybe maybe this. This chord IQ is, is one that also works as well. You know, maybe I might have to check into that. But um, for now, we're 
we are working on perfect companion so that's that I'll go ahead and back back out of this with the uh, B button so that was a quiz so the quiz seems to be an external app okay so let's check out what chord progression is so I clicked chord progression so here um, okay here is some chord progression um, I guess you could say uh, tutorials some chord progression examples now so it looks like on the top we got a um, kind of couple of options there we got the uh, arrow pointing to the left I'm looking at the top 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 where it looks like there's a it's like a black strip and then you got these uh, options on it so all the way to the left we got an arrow which obviously that'll back us out of here or you know you got three ways to back out of these menus you can choose that arrow you can also um, press the arrow on your shield controller or you can press the B button to back out so that's that you can see my cursor um, I'm over there now okay so it tells us what section we're in so if, if you look right to the um, arrow we're in the chord progression section so if I go over to the right I don't know if you guys can see my cursor I'm going slightly over okay now we are on the play section so I imagine this has got to play maybe um, maybe one of these chord progressions or maybe all of them okay so it's telling us we're in 4-4 four, four time and 140 beats per minute you know under it so then you know and it has a couple chords there C4 maybe that's the chord progression C4 G3 A3 and F3 <coughs> so, you know it, it's showing you um what the uh, chord progression is and then there's another menu next to it. It says chord, silence. So, you know, these are just more customized options for um, this section of the app here. Duration, um, you know, four, uh, four beats, four measures. Repeat, it repeats once. Details, root note is C. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like the root note is C. Okay. Inversion, play as arpeggio octave chord okay so i'm wondering if there's more i'm pressing down and, and there's no no more um no more options in that menu so it looks like both those menus are, are pretty much set there but now if you could see the cursor there's um there's other things listed here there's c major i guess you know that must be the uh is that the main keyword c major c4 m major okay and then if we go over, it shows us the uh, notes of the C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, I think. I have to go back and brush up on my basic stuff. Then if we um, go over with the cursor to the right more, there's there's a search um, magnifying glass there. So, you know, that's usually to search things. If, if you're looking for something specific, you can uh, search it up there. But I'm curious to see what we got on the top here. So if we click this okay it looks like what well, when we're in the uh, measure section where it says measure 4 by 4 140 bpm when i put the cursor over it it kind of highlighted so let's see if there's different measures okay look there is so we could change the scale um we, we could change it let's see instead of 4 by 4 we can go 6 by 4 8 by 4 we'll keep it you know standard you could change the tempo which is nice so instead of like 140 and go to like 100, you know, 95, boom, bap ish, 90, and go OK. All right, so we can change all that. Um, let's see what it plays. I'm going to hit play now. So if you can see my cursor, I'm on the top menu. Okay, so it looks like it's just gonna repeat. So that that seems to be a certain kind of progression. Um, to me, it seems like okay, it's playing the C4. Seems to be not a chord, but it seems to be playing it up as a bro broken notes. I, I think that's what they call arpeggio, right? When you break up um, notes in a chord. So the C4, it seems to be playing that progression. C4, G3, A3, and F3, but it seems to be playing 
arpeggiated notes for the C4 chord. Then once it gets to the uh, G3 chord, it seems to be a... Uh, once it gets to the... What is it? To the G3 chord. Uh, G3, I guess you could say. Yeah, let's call it chord. G3 chord. It seems to be playing a chord of that, you know. And it says four times. And then it goes to A3, which it plays a arpeggio of that, broken notes of the A3 chord, and then once it gets to the F3, it plays the chord. So let's hear it again, just to see where we're at. I'm kind of curious, you know. <laughs> so if, if, you know, I don't know how to count music, I'm not the best. But basically, if, if you want to count it, kind of, I'm, I'm going to be terrible at this. Sorry, guys. Excuse me. You know, but I'm just going to go at this. Okay, so for the C4, it seems to be like one, two, three, broken up notes. And then once it gets to the G3, it's do, 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 do. So it, it seems to play the C4, the broken notes, um, one time. And then the G3 as a chord it plays it four times you know so it, it's it would is that the one four five you know so i'm not even sure i forgot how to read um roman numeral numbers is that one four five four or one four one three four five i don't know okay but basically from when you hear it it's playing the first chord is played, there's four chords there, I guess you could say, in this whole progression. And the first chord and last chord are played as, um, I, I'm sorry, the first and the third chord are played as broken note arpeggiated passages. And the second and the fourth chord are actually played as chords. And it says, what played I don't know if the one by four means it's played four times, but I, I do hear the chord being played four times, and the four by one I don't get on the uh, C4 chord because it doesn't seem like it's playing that four times. It's only playing it once. Watch, we'll, we'll, we'll play it again. One, two, three. Okay, and then the chord four times. One, two, three. Then the chord four more times. C4, G3, A3, and F3. So that's our progression right there. So that's how it's playing it. <clears throat> you could change, um, you know, whether you uh, want more repeats. You could change the duration of it. You know, remember, we could also change the tempo. I'm wondering if this is a tempo selection. Oh, it is. Look. So you press the A button to select it. And I'm holding the A button in while I'm moving the uh, joystick. That's how it's uh, changing it, like, through that, you know. So you can change the tempo there. You could stop. You could add a new row. Let's see what that does. Oh, okay. It's, it's This feature is not available for light version, so I'll cancel. Well, can't add a new row. Um, I wish I could see what this one is right here. Song Tiv is not installed. You won't be able to hear how chords sound with different instruments and arrangements. Um, no, I could use the piano part just for basic stuff. Let's see what these three circles are. Some kind of setting. It's, it's kind of hard for me to... Okay, oh, here's a couple other things. Something, yeah, like my NVIDIA Shield uh, recording labels over this, but I see something that says piano. Okay, so this... Oh, th this is like... um. This is just basically showing you your notes, you know, that's kind of cool. So if you want to look at a reference of, um, you know, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, C, you know, your, uh, your, your, what do you call it? Your uh, whole notes. I, I think those are the white keys or those full steps. It, and B and C, that, those are the ones I get confused. I don't know if those are a half step. Or what? I think they are. I'm not positive, though. I'm not. You know, because there's no black key. Remember, there's no sharp or flat. So I think 
it's just from B to C is a half step and E to F, but everything else I think is a whole step, you know, C, D, E, and then all, you know, your black keys are half, so D to D sharp is a half step, so that's kind of cool, and then you could change the range you're in too, so if you see my cursor up here, so you know, we can just go through C, D, E, and I think that's C major scale. So you can change your uh, range you're in too. So if you see my cursor, there's uh, all this uh, all this area up here. So I mean, okay, yeah. So look, if I click like over here, it'll just throw it over there. If I click over here, so now we're like in C1. Look how low it's gonna sound. Yeah, that's cool. So you can even record with that. Wow, what a trip. Okay, so then you can go back to those three. Uh, there's record, there's something there. And I can't see the other option next to it. Um, and then there's there's more of these uh, three dots, save and load. Okay, so that has to do with probably something to record. So let's back out of there. So that's pretty cool. So that was a, that was just a little three circle menu there. So there's transpose. Okay, uh, so we can't transpose it. Okay. Load, save, save as, send MIDI file, remove last now, last row, clear. So you got a couple uh, options there that um, can do certain things, you know, in, in the, the section you're in, like load, save, save as, um, clear, export, import. <clears throat> a couple you you unfortunately can't use unless you um, have the full version, but you can still, um, you know, mess around with this. And good for reference, you know, just even this progression right here that's showing you, you know. Let's check the patterns. Let's see what patterns has. So if I go to pattern, oh yeah, patterns is only available in the full version. And we could change the chords too. So let's, um, oh well, maybe you can't. <laughs> That'd be a bummer. It is not available for light version. Let's see. Okay, well, we can. Select current chord using menu. Um, oh, gee. I don't know. Okay, yeah, we, we can change it there. Look, so we're in, in our um, IKEA C, so it looks like you can change F sharp, C sharp, you know, your sharp, your, I wonder what root is. Okay. So I assume that would be a, you know, D sharp, A. So we'll, we'll stick with C. Once again, you know, select current chord using menu or toolbar. Okay. So these are basically, you know, we're, we're in our C keys now. So it, it's showing you um, C major. The notes of the C major, C, E, G, group, common chord, scales, play panel. Okay. It's showing us on the staff. Now, I'm, I'm kind of trying to, to go down this uh, menu here. If you see on the right where it says staff. Okay, there we go. So now. Okay, so this is the C major key. And it's showing you what it looks like on the staff. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, oh no. Okay. Okay, chord progression. So there, there's <laughs> this is pretty full featured, guys. So there's there's quite a bit you can uh, probably do here. So let's see if I. I don't know what green means. I clicked in and went green. So and that one went green. Basically, you can hear, you know, progression. I know we can uh, change a chord. So from a C major, let's let's change it. Okay, let's go here. Chord using menu or toolbar. Menu or toolbar. So C minor. So let's see um, what it'll give me. Okay, there's more options there.
C minor. Watch diminished. Minted, whoa. C major. It's still in the C major, but I want to change it. I want to change it to like, let's change it to like maybe minor. Okay, so if we change the minor, and now if I go back, oh yeah, now it's going to be, it says minor. Oh, we changed that chord. That's what we did. So watch what it's going to do now. Okay, so what if I go and change it from C minor to like, let's go to like augmented. So let's see. Okay, so you could change, I guess you could change which um, chord you want uh, right there, and then it, it'll play. But I don't know how you get certain progressions, like how did it, <coughs> how did it just uh, <coughs> automatically, <coughs> like, give me that progression, you know, which was kind of weird. See, and it still has the, uh, the C4 augmented. Root C. But you can you can change it, you know. I'm just wondering. Okay. So if you want to go to like minor. Okay, now I'll put it to C4 minor. Uh, maybe we can go to uh, G G four major. How would I change that? Oh. So, I don't know, I'd have to learn it, but basically, you know, there's tons of, uh, tons of chords here, tons of, uh, you know, things for you, and you can hear what they sound like, and you can choose which key you're in, so if, if you don't want to be in G, and you want to go to A, you can go to A right there, and then it should be A, I thought it would be A minor, I don't know. Okay, it, it looks like it. Oh, it had changed the second one because that was what I was on. So whichever you're at, whatever you're on, like, you know, if I go there now. So look, it says A major. So if I go and change a second row, instead of A3, A major, I can change it to minor. And then if I go back, it'll be A3. Look, they're both A3 minor. So that's how you uh, change that. So, you know, you can get pretty uh, detailed with this program here. There's definitely, you know, a lot to it. That was just the chord progression part. I mean, look, there, there's tons of options here. I think when they're, they're um, selected there, when it's got a green, uh, 
a green, I guess you could say, row. You can go here. See how it says we're in the A minor chord, A3 um, minor chord. So then, like, if I wanted to change that from A minor, let's go to A major. So I imagine we're still in, in the key of A, or A key, as you can tell from there. So if I go to major, so now it should be A major. So if I click it, so now, yeah, look, it's major instead of minor. So then what if I just want to flip it up, not even go to like A key, go to like, uh, let's go to like D sharp or something. D sharp major or D sharp minor. D sharp minor. D sharp minor. So that that's kind of cool. You know, it's definitely, um, definitely cool. So, but I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. So let's go ahead and back out. Okay. So then we got the piano section and this seems to be a piano section which if, if you want to practice your note sight reading skills here that's kind of cool not necessarily you know on a staff but you can see all your white keys and just you know how, how okay your group of black keys you got your as the other um piano piece i was looking at there was another app but unfortunately that one didn't work um your your two black keys your d keys always in the middle and on the left and the right are your C and E key, and then, you know, your three black keys, you got them. Um, they had an acronym, but it was like F, G, A, and B. F was like front door, G was like grandma's house, A was like apple by the back door, and B was like the back door. So that that's how you could remember those um, four keys under the set of three black keys. I don't know an acronym for uh, the CDE, but you know, those are those are under the set of two black keys and you can hear what they sound like, you know, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And I'm using the cursor to, um, you know, scroll. If, if you could see, I was going through each key and just pressing the A button to play the note. So if you want to hear what G sharp sounds like. G sharp. You know, so that's that. You can record here. You know, I don't understand what that's for. Um, and obviously, with this section up here, you can change your range. So if we go way down here, you know, we'll be like this is like our A1 octave. So watch how low it's gonna sound. So that's that. You know, no, I don't know what this note means. Oh, it takes the notes off. Okay, I mean, I guess that's good if you're trying to learn without looking at them. But if you need to reference them, you want to. Probably. Okay, let me see. Okay, turn them on. And then there's a couple options here. Probably have to do with MIDI. Save, load, so we don't need that. Grand piano. Um, I think I have to down. Oh, you can change the tone. Okay. So now we're on vibraphone. Well, that's cool. So that's just piano, just to play with. You know, see your notes on the piano and, you know, select and play each individual note here the tone the character of it you can also change your instruments as well so that's cool let's go ahead and get out of that section though so that was the piano section now we are in the circle of fifths section so this is going to be like a chord diagram and you know i i heard of this through you know i guess just from hearing it like on the internet and stuff i don't know exactly what it pertains to but i think it's like some kind of music theory instructional you know teachings related to chords and i don't know if it's fifth notes or fifth chords or something so i, I definitely this is a, a little bit beyond what i'm a what i understand musically at the moment and you could even look change the change it right there i, I don't know what i'm doing but i'm changing something there so, so scale chords favorites common chords c major C major. All right. There's a couple other ones. There's what it looks like on the staff. So, this do you know if you want to learn some circle of fits um, theory. Wow, must be like a is that the circle of fits? D natural minor scale. Hmm. 
So let's start a C major scale. We know that one. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And you go next to it. G major, B, C. Okay. That's kind of cool. So what if I click like under it? The E. E natural minor. Wow. Then even if you go to the one sharp. Okay, the one sharp ain't clicking. Ain't doing anything. Looks like the purple and the pink are what um, guide us through. So if I hit C. C natural minor. And then remember, you could like even change the sharps or change it sharps or flats there. So definitely cool, you know. I'm I'm digging it. Get you a uh, going on some theory to learn some, you know. I don't know if you want to call it chords and scales. That's kind of what it seemed to show you in chord relation, scale relation. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out of that now. Okay, we keep getting the um, okay. That was Circle of Fits. So user library, I'm not sure what this is going to have. Maybe it's stuff you can uh, record and save through MIDI. So, um, you know, nothing that we'll probably use there at the moment. Okay, reverse scale lookup. Touch piano keys to start filtering. So what does this mean? So let's see if I touch. Oh, wow, okay. So C major. Reverse scale lookup, choose root. So I guess we're in C major, scale chords, common chords, okay, nice, secondary dominant, and that's what it, okay. So let's see what C Aeolian is. Nice. Cool, C Lydian, so reverse scale. I don't know what this two means. I don't know if that means two, from C to D, it's two half steps or one whole step. One, two, three, four, one. Uh, yeah, oh, those are whole notes maybe. Look, like one, two, three, C, D, E, and then F sharp, and then how it has four as a sharp maybe. Okay, so let's go to like C mixolydian. So the B flat or B7. Okay. Oh, I get it, kind of. So there's definitely tons of... And this is the free version. You guys might not, you know, ever need more than this stuff. So there, there's quite a bit here. Um, favorites. That's okay. Once again, only available in full version. Okay, that re, um, looks to reset everything. That must change your pitch. Rest, or I don't know, it says um, something there. Like I said, I can't see because my menu's in the way. But it looks like there's a flat sign and a sharp sign there. There's our, okay, we accidentally backed out of that, sorry. There's a, oh, the help menu takes you to an external website, so I don't want to do that. So that was the... Um, reverse scale lookup you know you can choose root so even if you don't want the C you can go to D there we go hear what D major sounds like and then you know you click on the uh, scale on the left and it shows you the I guess it says scale chords you know the notes on the right and so if, if, you know, D, E, F, so I see one and two, but I don't understand why F has a B3. That doesn't, oh, maybe because it's a half step instead of a whole step. You know, from F to G is two. Oh, okay, I get it. So C looks scale chords. So from E to F is one. You know, it, it's not. It's a half step. Maybe those are going by half steps. F to G is, is one, but it's two. G to A. A to B flat, of course, one. So kind of get that, you know. But you've, you've got quite a bit there. Look, if, if you go down, I mean, and this is just the free version. So you definitely won't be uh, running out of uh, any any kind of scales and chords to uh, mess with anytime soon, you know. All right, so. Can get pretty complex here, guys. So if it, you know, if you want to clear everything out, let's say you're just not feeling um all this uh, D chord 
the key stuff you can just go up to this menu and you see this little it looks like a replay rewind thing we can uh, hit that it looks like and it'll clear us out and then it you know it tells you touch piano key to start filtering so whichever <coughs> whichever key <coughs> you hit is where it's going <coughs> to start for your root key so you can even go to like c sharp or they might call it d flat let's see so watch okay so it came up way c phrygian i'm surprised it didn't tell me whether it was c sharp or c flat but you know okay so you could change this to so now it should be sharp so i don't know but there there's quite a bit here you know definitely somebody that wants to improve their um knowledge of you know piano theory piano um learning piano um composition you know you could definitely review this stuff and memorize it in your head and go out and start improving your music you know it's pretty cool scales dictionary so let's check this out okay so here's the scales dictionary once again we've got our top black bar across there there's certain options you know i won't go over the ones that you guys know um you know this c is is your key so once again you, you could choose that and you know whether you want sharp or flat you know if you go if you choose sharp you know you get the sharps of them if you choose flat you get the flat okay so let's see Okay, <coughs> so remember you could change your root key you're in, sharp or flat, so that's cool. Okay, so practice, there's a little menu called practice here. Play C major, okay, so maybe if, if, if you had a um, MIDI controller hooked up, I don't, or maybe it'll play it, let's see if I hit play, play C major. the whole C major that's what practice um, got us to but it's probably because we were chosen major I mean what if you go to like low <coughs> <coughs> go to low Korean look it'll play it automatically so if I go to practice oh yeah it tells you what you're in so that's kind of cool so we'll go ahead and quit that favorites once again not available in this version there is a search uh, thing there, a search uh, magnifying glass. That's obviously to search. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to back out of that. Okay, and then there's our uh, trusty little help menu there. I don't know what this means. It says, see you custom something. Let me click it. Okay, it just went over. So quite a bit. Um, uh, these screens are similar between... As you've seen the section, this once again will play the uh, common C major secondary dominant. And, and, you know, this screen right here seemed to be uh, the same as the other screen in some of the other menus. It looks like we have an up and down arrow. I'm wondering if I click OK. So it closes, it closes that, um, that view and it shows the staff view right there. So, you know, if, if we go down here, we can... Uh, look at the keys view and all that so that's kind of cool and then these menus it looks like you can open or close them with the arrow so like if I hit the um, down arrow watch it'll okay well it let's see so if I hit the down arrow here maybe it's up okay maybe it, it opens and okay yeah it looks like it closed it right so if I hit the up arrow again right here it should Okay, what happened? Maybe it, it moves them. I don't know. Oh yeah, it moves. It moves them in position, up or down. That's what it does. So if like you want this uh, section to go down. Okay, let's see. Yeah, look, see it went down. Then if you want it to go back to the top, you'll hit the up arrow. 
or if you want that to the top. So it just basically arranges them in your menu um, up or down, I guess, in, in relation to the arrow. And it looks like there's a check, check box. I bet the check box can probably closes it. So watch. Let's hit this check box here in the play panel section. If you could see my cursor, I'm going, you know, straight over to the check box right here. And I'll hit it. And, oh, it, yeah, it looks like it closed that, that play panel look. So that's pretty cool. You know, there's tons of stuff going on here. <clears throat> a couple ads, but you just back out of them. So that was the um, scales dictionary staff lookup. Oh, gee, you know, a lot of options here. So, you know, you go to C. Um, okay. So maybe showing you what your uh, C. That must be what your, uh, your, your C major chord looks like on the staff, you know. I don't know what that one is. I'm trying to get over, but it's not getting me over to the view on the right. See how I'm, I'm like trying? Oh, okay, there we go. It's easier to to move with the uh, keyboard, but um, yeah, I don't, I, I, you know, basically your staff looked up. Go to plus, minus, flat, sharp, up, down. <clears throat> Add a note to start filtering. So C major, C minor, <clears throat> notes, C, E flat, G, C suspended. So, and it, it'll also show you the, um, you know, C suspended chord on the staff is that. I don't know what that is. Um, that, or maybe it's just in relation to different staff. If I can't, what is that? Is that the bass clef or something? So that's maybe what the, the C suspended chord would look like on the bass clef. That would maybe be it on the treble clef. So I'm, I'm not positive, you know. Or G, whatever. Whatever that is, you know. <clears throat> so, definitely um, pretty for even being the the free version. It's it's pretty uh, pretty feature packed. You know, there's a couple other options here. The only thing with options in these corners is it's hard for me to see them because my shield label thing, you know. Okay, that must reset it. Oh, sorry, guys. So that must have been, like, the clear button or something. And there's another option right on the right, right, okay. And it, it turns something yellow, so I don't know what that did. Then I'll click it again, and it goes back to white. So, you know, I'm not sure. So we'll go ahead and get back out of this. So now we, um, what was that? Was that reverse chord lookup? I think that was staff lookup. Here's reverse chord lookup. Kind of same kind of menu, you know. So if we press D... D major, D minor, D diminished, D augmented. So you can just keep going through them, you know. And it's it's cool because uh, the menu on the left just basically tells you, okay, so the D7 chord, the notes are D, F sharp, A, and C. You know, the degrees are 1, 3, 5, and B7. I forgot what degrees are. Group, common chords. So it, it's still considered a common chord. And then you can look what it, you can see what it looks like on the staff. So, you know, that would must be like I mentioned the bass staff or the bass clef, and this must be the treble clef. So pretty cool, you know. You can even learn these just by hearing them. And if if you don't want to, you know, if you can't read staff music, but you know how what the notes are on on the the keyboard, you can just play those notes together and get your chord. So that's kind of cool, you know. Definitely a nice little tool we got going on here. I'm digging it. Chords Dictionary. So let's look that up. Okay, so this is where we started from once again. You know, you choose your um, choose your key you want. I don't know what this snow means. 
for a second. Maybe that shows your degrees. I'm, you know, and then you can choose what um, for the the key. If you want all the chords shown, if you just want the major, the minor, diminished, augmented, seventh, ninth. I think you could even go to like didn't it even have like thirteenth chords or something. So there, there's quite a bit there, you know. So let's just let's go through the minor chord just to. Minor sixth, minor seventh, minor major seventh, minor ninth. <clears throat> so quite a bit, and then you can see, then you start getting complex. Look what it looks like on the staff. <laughs> it's like dang. So, but um, yeah, that's it, guys. I just wanted to um. Oh, there was another option here I seen, which, oh, this must be add chord. Okay, you know, let's go to the help option again. Transpose, customize. What does customize do? I don't know what that did. Let me, uh, let me back out. Okay, and let's add a something here. Oh, okay, maybe you can add a chord, or you could just label it full name, intervals, group, preview. So I don't need this. Okay. So we are good, guys. This is the, um, this is the free version, I guess you could say, of Piano Companion. Um, you know, I, 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 you can't just assume that these are always going to be free, you know, even if you download it and it doesn't say it's it's a, a free, you know, app or not. Sometimes there's always hidden fees or certain things that you uh, need to unlock. With this one, unfortunately, it's not particularly the full version, but it's pretty feature packed. Even for being a, a, a free version, you know, I, I still think you can... Um, definitely uh use this for reference for chords and scales and just mess around with it and learn it and then probably get some benefit even with the free version unless of course you know if you're a little more advanced and, and you need a little more there then you might want to get the um the full version which you can look at the different um options available to you in the uh, shop you know so to fully unlock it it's 399 but if you want to unlock certain sections, like maybe you just want to mess with the scales section. You want every, you know, all the content available within that section. It's $1.49. The chord section, $1.49. Progressions Pro seems to be MIDI-related stuff. And if you want all of it, it's $3.99. So it's definitely cool, you know. Definitely, definitely, um, definitely cool. I would probably you know it, it's freestyle steve approved um I, even just for this free i guess what you know maybe this is it the light version i don't know what they consider it but even just for this um free version there seems to be a ton of features i mean i'll, I'll never probably spend you know a whole lot of time messing with all this and going through these chords but i might sometimes want to look up some things from re for reference here and even just some of them scale modes and just see if I could come up with um, certain things you know definitely can uh, help anybody out here with their music and I would say even from you know beginner on to an advanced there was tons of chords and voicings and modes and keys there you know so I, I don't know how much more advanced you want to get you know unless your level is, is you know your superior virtuoso type musician you might not even need something like this but definitely um full featured for what it is you know i don't know if i'll be buying the uh, full version anytime soon as, as you know i'm gonna look through more of these apps hopefully i can get um some time to come with some videos of other related music apps we got the perfect piano one which you know not not necessarily a reference teaching tool for you know piano theory piano um tutorial like this one is that one's a sheet music piano i guess you could say learning playing tool but it you know it actually shows you how to play those songs and the notes and where they go so it's definitely cool and that one i didn't see any purchases i mean even most of the online songs they they would just download and go so um you know def i mean there might have been some purchases i don't know
but definitely you know perfect piano um for android tv now definitely a nice app i can recommend you know to get you learning get your music um creativity flowing and this one too this one you know is more going to be more along the lines of an actual teaching you know it's called piano companion so companion teaching you know aid toolkit um tutorial like kind of app but definitely um well featured for even the what the free version has those icons seem to go up i press down on the d-pad and they kind of moved up then if i press up look they move back down but i'm um, all right you know that was um it your boy freestyle steve i'm gonna clock out and um you know, if, if you guys like these kind of uh, videos, let me know. I mean, I'm still going to come with uh, game videos. And I, I'd like to just find random games that, you know, are a little more obscure games. And, you know, just do videos over them, check them out, with, see whether I like them or not. And just, just it's just good to turn, you know, everybody on to certain apps they might not find instantly on, on the Google Play Store on their Shield. or you know, And I do this on the Shield because I have, you know, the Shield. So... For Shield users, you know, you can um, just get get a, get a view of, of certain apps you might haven't, you know, came across yet and be like, oh, wow, they have that for the Shield. That's cool. I want to mess with that. Or, you know, definitely stuff to look into because it, it, it's a pretty versatile, you know, machine. It, you don't just, um not going to just play games with it. You can get apps and, you know, video apps, net news apps and now we got music apps like this and just, you know, it's Android machine. So it, it's got a lot out there for it. But um, all right, guys, you know, like I said, it's your boy Freestyle Steve. Um, came back with another one for you guys. This was Piano Companion. And unfortunately, I don't think you can get this within your shield, you know, through the Google Play Store. Um, you have to get it externally. So if you're looking at Google Play on your smartphone or your tablet or your laptop or your desktop um you know you you can find piano companion there and it will have the option to install to your shield from there that's what i had to do you know i, I had to choose install and then you know it, it had an option and it said choose which device you want to install to and i had to choose shield and you know it installed on my shield and once again with this app um with some of these apps you'll I guess you could say push from externally from Google Play. They won't show up on your your app menu on your home screen. So this app showed up in Sideload Launcher, which I think most of them will. So if they don't show up on your home screen, you'll either have to go to Sideload Launcher or you can also go to your settings and then go to your apps and then you know you you'll see it right here and you can go through it from here you know it's going to take a minute because i got quite a few <clears throat> so uh you know we'll, we'll go we'll just do it quick you can go through it um go to your app here and you know click on it and open it but yeah you could side load launcher or through your settings because it actually if you um if you go through it through your uh through your google play games right here it um it might not have an open option, which was weird, because I noticed uh, when I was uh, looking at some of the games earlier. I don't know if it was through here. Maybe it was a. Um, maybe it was on my Google. Uh, okay, this is the Google Play Games. Maybe it was on the Google Play Store. But when I was a uh, looking through a. Uh, okay, when I was looking through it here, I think I found it here. In the Google Play Store, so there, there's still a couple, you know, sometimes you have to, uh, if, if you come across, you know, an, an issue like this, you just have to see if there's a workaround or whatnot. So, um, you know, we're in the Google Play Store now, and I'm looking for it, and we're going to, okay, so see what's weird, look at here, in the Google Play Store, don't have the open, um, see how it just has uninstall full description and flag as inappropriate it does not have the uninstall option here so i mean i'm sorry it doesn't have the uh, open option so you can't actually launch it from the only option you have is the uninstall you know so and that could be because it, it maybe it's not fully integrated with um android tv yet maybe they'll 
make a you know fully in something that you know like perfect piano t for android tv although it does work you know as, as i showed you you can launch the app from your um settings you know your your um go to your settings and your apps through there you can go to sideload launcher and we even can use the um, shield controller the right analog stick also brings up a cursor for us as well you know so you can definitely navigate through the app um with your shield controller but the the only way to open the app that i've came across is through the um, settings and then go to your apps and open from there our side load launcher unfortunately you know in in the google play store if you go to the app there's not an open option here and you know that could be maybe because it, it's maybe not fully compatible with android tv yet although maybe there's some kind of compatibility i assume that's the only reason maybe you were able to um install it externally from the play store and like i said you know we do got a cursor working so it, it's it's functionality is is pretty much there you know so but it don't show up on the menu as you know perfect piano um for android tv shows up on our apps menu fine so that's just one thing i wanted to point out you know you might push some of these apps externally that say they're um, compatible with your shield and you might be try you might be trying to install them from here the google play store and you know you don't see the open option so you know don't freak out it, it'll still work you just have to maybe go to your um, settings and your apps or your side load launcher to um, install it but what's weird is some of the other ones like if like you see some of these other music ones you know they do have open like that has open right there and these were okay that don't you know so it, it's hit or miss from when you install them um, externally they're either gonna have the open or not but um, that's that guys i'm gonna bounce your boy freestyle steve today we took a look at this app right here piano chord scale companion um it, it you know it, it seems to be free or the light version if you go to the shop you can unlock the full the full version for 3.99 and there's various other options of versions you, you can pay for basically which section you want um i guess you could say to unlock fully you know you don't have to unlock the whole version if you just want the chord section you can do that for like a dollar 49 the scales um, section etc etc but i have to give it a thumbs up for even going through the um for even going through the light version of this app it's pretty full featured you know i, I don't think i'd ever get the full version just because i probably never get through what's on the uh, light version or free version or whatever um so definitely a thumbs up you know another um thought i'd come back with like i said another music app and if you guys like this let me know what's good i'll definitely try to find more kind of music related apps like this or just other apps you know i don't have to always um just do game videos or game recordings we, we can mix it up you know definitely like to do that so i can have a diverse uh, base of subscribers you know it seems like i'm getting some diversity now we got gamers coming back through again and and we finally got some music heads that are you know maybe wanted to do some tracks over the beats and fellow producers as well so um, we're getting there guys so right on but um if you like this video go ahead and you know give me a thumbs up give me a, a comment you know even if you don't like it go ahead and give it a thumbs down but um you know, I come here and, and try to do these things, you know, with um, good intentions to try to uh, help people out there, I guess, you know, if not necessarily help, but maybe turn them on to something new. Somebody out there might be um, wanting to upgrade their, uh, up their piano technique slash skills slash playing a little bit. And something like this app might definitely be down their alley, you know, they can uh, just look at some different chords for reference and practice you know off of those um off of what they see in the app the chords and the scales and progressions and whatnot so pretty cool you know definitely definitely um cool all right but it's your boy freestyle steve i am gonna sign out you guys have a good one peace